Okay, Kim, we're going to show you the fan installation here, and these are the two small ones down on the end. Uh, they uh, have good clearance now. And then we come across, you can see these other ones. And here we go, we're going to power this baby up. And they're all spinning now. In a minute now, we're going to uh, put this amplifier under test. And we'll be using uh, this signal generator, and I'm going to just start it at 8, uh, 8 dBm. Uh, drive and it's running down this cable into the input of the amplifier. The output uh, running uh, up here into bird uh, watt meter and uh, then it's into the dummy load as you can see here. I know it's a little hard to see here. And here's the amplifier and it's in its test state. We'll, uh, we'll run an amplifier test. Here. Okay, Kim, we're going to get ready and run this test now. And uh, uh, Mac is going to throw uh, throw the switch for us. So uh, now we're going to just uh, enable the amplifier, and you'll see that we come up to about 140 watts or thereabouts. Okay, Mac, throw the switch to nine. So he's setting it at nine dBm. Here we come up close to 150 watts. Uh, all right, and we got to reset here because of the way the uh, frequency generator works. Okay, so. Ken, we're set now with uh, 10 dBm out output of the signal generator. Going to drive the amplifier with 10 dBm, and uh, and here we go. We'll enable it, and we're up to about reading 160 watts.